So I want to build the ultimate creek fishing kit. Oh, got a little one on the crank. Let me tell you about the dink of the day. Look at him, he's fat. He's got a big old belly. I left my key to my truck in your truck. You happy? And my truck is where? That's put in. What's going on everybody? We are back and we're at Walmart. So what we're gonna be doing today is I'm actually going creek fishing tomorrow um, and I need to pick up some tackle. And what I thought is, what if, I mean, I know where I'm going and I know what they're biting where I'm going. So I want to build the ultimate creek fishing kit for where I'm going. Um, hopefully, you know, Walmart's been sold out of a lot of tackle. So we're hoping, hoping that I can uh, get the tackle I need, but I'm actually gonna build a kit and I'm probably gonna do a giveaway within this video of that kit. Again, it's what works on my waters. It could be different for stuff that y'all use, um, but this is what I know works in this creek. So I'm gonna build the ultimate creek fishing kit for the creek I'm going to tomorrow. And uh, you guys should get a kick out of it. I will say this, I'm on the big camera now. I'm gonna put the big camera away and actually film on my phone. It's just not the right time to be filming in Walmart with a big camera. Uh, people are still a little bit on edge. So don't know how good the quality is gonna be, so bear with me on that part. But let's build this kit and uh, get ready to go tomorrow. All right, folks, we are filming on my phone, um, but we are on the Walmart aisle. And I'm gonna start off we're gonna we're gonna get a little a little plano box all right so i'm trying to decide do i want like the double-sided where it's got two sides there or the single i think for y'all i'm gonna get the double-sided but we're probably only gonna fill up one side i'm gonna leave you some room there to fill up your own on this other side but let's start looking at baits all right so we've got to fill up this little tackle box and i'm going to my go-to creek crankbait um, this thing catches them all the time. And it's going to be this guy right down here. This rebel crawfish, the wee crawfish. This thing is money. Absolute money. It's in ditch brown. You can't get any better than this in a creek. And next, we've got to go with something like this. Like one of these little mini spinner baits. Um, the question is, is what color? I'm thinking this guy. And in that same vein, move this out of the way. In that same vein, if you want to catch something, you need to get a beetle spin. This is like a staple. We're going to get one of the bigger ones. We need a 1 16th, so they've only got it in white. Surely. Nope, that's it. A 1 16th in white. That's what we're going to have to go with. And while we're over here, let's just knock this one out too. We're gonna get a rooster tail. Uh, if they've got one in the size we need. Here's a one eighth in red. We could do red. I normally like to get white, but we're gonna have to get red today in one eighth ounce. I don't see a white. So we're gonna have to get this one. Oh, and last but not least, to round out my top five. Oh, let's get some cream pre-rigged worms, little grubs, something like these. That'll catch them every time. I wish, I wish they had like a mini trap. Something like, something like these guys. If they had a mini trap, like a single mini trap, I'd be all over it. But unfortunately, I only see them in the, the, the packs here, the kits. Those kits, I think this kit right here would kill a Caprice. Both of these would. Um, leave in the comments if you want to see one of those done a creek fishing video using one of these kits because we could for sure do that if we wanted to do a, a kit like a creek kit i think those would work there's some other crankbait kits in here that i think would work um, the big thing with a creek is it's a moving bite um, very rarely unless you can get in like a little a little bit of a uh, like eddy that where it creates an eddy and there's like you know just slack water you're not really going to get them on like a worm bite you've actually got to have you know something moving um, which is why we've got all moving baits here, but that's at least been my experience of where I'm going. Uh, but that's five baits to get you started at the creek. I don't really see anything else that uh, I could throw in that I think would really work for tomorrow's video. Anyway, there you go. We're gonna get a, a basically a 
Plano box. We're gonna throw a bunch of baits in it, five different styles of baits. We're gonna see if we can go catch some fish on them. I'm not saying I'm gonna catch them on every single one of, style, of, one of those styles of baits, but we're definitely gonna slay on a couple of those. So hang tight, let's get to the creek. Well, first I probably need to pay for this. That'd be crucial. So let's pay for this and get to the creek. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are back. I've got the, uh, the old creek down there behind me. I've got my boy, Justin. Justin has made very few appearances on the channel. We gotta, we gotta fix that. So me and Justin are gonna hit up this creek. I've got the ultimate creek fishing kit that we're gonna fish with today. Um, the one I built at Walmart, and uh, hopefully we're gonna catch some fish. Like I said, I'm not gonna use all the baits in it, but hopefully we're gonna use a few of them, catch some fish. Okay, so stay tuned to that. Uh, Justin, you ready to get in the water, buddy? Absolutely. Let's make our way down there. Got a little one. Got a little one. On the little, that's the little crawfish crankbait. He's a little fella, but he's a creek bass. And that's what we were after. We're after creek bass. Don't be hating on this little dink that I got. I mean, he's thick for his size. All right, so that was on the crawfish crankbait. We're gonna put that one up and we're gonna go to the rooster tail. That's, that's one I think will work next. I think we can get bit on the rooster tail. On the underspin. Boom. Or not underspin. This is a rooster tail. You're fishing an underspin. Buddy, this is the way all of my videos go. You just see the edited version. All right, there's the rooster tail. I am killing, killing the baby bass. This one, this one is 12 inches. This one's a 12 incher. 12 inches divided by two. Little dinker stinker. All these are little spotted bass. Little, little baby spots. All right, hit the little uh, rooster tail. That was at least fun. At least I was on light tackle, so it made it feel like it was a giant. Got a little one on the crank. Got a little one on the crank. I mean, little guy. They're thick in here, but they're just so little. Thanks, buddy. I'm telling y'all, y'all sleep on the crankbaits. These little mini crankbaits in these creeks work amazing. Got a little bitty fish on it. I don't want to. I mean, the littlest bitty fish. Now, let me tell you about the dink of the day. Let's talk about the dink of the day for a minute. He can't even fit the trebles in his mouth. He's so little. He is, let's measure him, you know, just for the sake of doing so. He is just over four inches. He's just over four inches. I mean, a tiny sucker. When the water's clear enough, we should be able to see him swim away. There he goes. It's probably what he's doing the entire time. It's probably what all these fish are doing. They're just on the bottom, just hugging. Yeah, he just swam off. He's actually right there. They're just on the bottom, just sort of hugging it, just watching. And he saw that crankbait came up and hit it. Got the tail, or the back treble. Um, and I felt him tugging on it, but I wasn't. <laughs> he's so small, I wasn't even sure. I mean, that sounds terrible, but I wasn't even sure. I saw you got one. Oh, that's the biggest one of the day for sure. What'd you get him on? Jig. Jig, yeah. Look at him. He's fat. He's got a big old belly. He's got a huge belly. Yeah, you definitely got the big one of the day for sure. There he goes. Be good enough right there. 
All right, I'm going to rinse my feet off. So, Justin, we thought the video was over. What happened? So what happened now? <laughs> now say, say it loud enough so the camera can hear. This is very important. I left my key to my truck in your truck. You happy? And my truck is where? At the put-in. So we're way back at the put-in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, um, well, that changes things a little bit. Uh, we might be walking. Yeah. So we, uh, yeah, here we go. Hmm, good call. All right, boys and girls, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, we did the whole creek send. That was gnarly getting up, super nasty. The creek is kind of flooded a little bit. It's gushing. We could not slow down and fish. So I didn't get to fish with all the things in my little ultimate creek fishing kit. But if you wanna win it, and fish for, with it yourself. All you gotta do is leave a comment below on what your favorite creek fishing bait would be if you've never creek fished, or if you have, what is your favorite? Mine is obviously the little crankbait. I love that crankbait. I'm gonna turn this way so I'm in the sun a little bit and y'all can see me. That little Rebel uh, Wee Crawl. Um, Justin ended up with the uh, pot belly of the day. I mean, got it on a jig, a little finesse jig. And you said you were just jigging it on like some trees? Yep. Just jigging it on some trees. I'm over here throwing moving baits and he got them on jigging it on some trees. So literally the creek is just open with whatever you really want to throw in it. This is just what I thought was going to work today and most of it did. So again, if you want to win that, get in the comments, tell me what your favorite creek bait is. And as always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, hit the ding dong notification so you'll be notified on my next video because that's how we're going to announce the giveaway. It's going to be in the description of the next video and if you don't have those ding dong notifications on, you could miss it. And that's going to do it for today's video. And uh, yeah, till next time, we're out of here. Later.